So, drumsticks. Sticks, sticks, sticks. Um... Most people, and I'll lump my much younger self in with this crowd, thought drumsticks were just sticks. I thought you had sticks and brushes, but there's way more to it than that. Let's start with actual drumsticks. While they're all basically the same, there are some ways they vary. Let's take a look at a set I'll explain along the way. You can see on this set the characters 7AN on the base of the handle. The number refers to the weight of the stick. Heavier sticks are louder, whereas lighter sticks can give a more delicate sound. A particular weight of stick generally goes with a particular style of music. The next character refers to the diameter of the stick, and a rough rule of thumb is that it also indicates the intended use of the stick. The two most common are A for orchestral, and B for marching bands or concert bands. The third character, the N, tells it that this particular stick uses a nylon tip, whereas a wooden tip would have no designation. Wooden tips are warmer, whereas nylon tips sound brighter and last longer than wooden tips. There's also a bunch of unwritten stuff. The kind of material that the stick is made from can affect its tone and how comfortable it is to use, and the length of the taper can affect the tone as well, as a longer taper will make the head of the stick lighter. We also have brushes, which have a much different sound to sticks. Whereas a stick will rap on a drum, brushes will swish. Brushes are most commonly made from either wire or wood, but nylon and plastic are also becoming more popular. Brushes can be moved around on the drum head in a circular motion to create a range of sounds that you cannot get from a rigid stick. They're hardly ever used in rock, but are pretty common in jazz and blues genres. Lastly, we've got mallets. These tend to be more for orchestral or marching band style of drumming. The padding at the end gives the head more mass and basically just makes the drum as loud as possible. There are no fixed rules as to what kind of sticks you should be using for what style of music. I once played with a rock drummer who used wooden brushes, but he taped the wooden strands together so there was very little flex. It gave it a much different sound to anything I'd heard before. So kudos to him. My name is Sev and I've got a cold so I'm going to bed. <laughs>